Hello guys, so welcome back to the channel and uh, in this video we are going to undervolt the MSI GL65 as you can see right here this is a laptop that I've got and it comes with the RTX 2060 and i7 10750H processor and as you can see right here so this is the BIOS that I'm running it's all the uh, I don't think it's the latest one and I haven't checked that out the latest BIOS but still this is the system that I'm gonna do underworld right now in front of you so before moving to the screen recording stuff internal screen recording I have to record this with my external device I'm recording this with my mobile because we need to turn off this and we have to then follow like do some things which I cannot record so that's why I use mobile before moving into the internal screen recording and seriously guys uh, many people are commenting like how we can underbolt our MSI GL65 because temperatures are crossing uh, like 95 degree. So this definitely this video definitely gonna help you out. So follow all steps that I'm gonna do right here. So first of all we have to turn off our laptop and uh, then we have to move on to next step. Okay so I'm going to shut this down right now and uh, here we go and now the next main thing which you have to do you have to enter into the BIOS so for entering into the BIOS you have to when you uh, when you will turn on your laptop press the power button and continuously start hitting the delete button and you will drive uh, like automatically direct it to your BIOS so as you can see right now we are in the BIOS right now so there is nothing uh, like options for like overclocking and all stuff now you have to press right control shift then left alt and then F2 so here you can see that we have got these option which was previously not here so these are the options from where we can unlock the overclocking access so here you can see the overclocking and performance menu so just right here on my mouse cursor double click here and here you're gonna see the overclocking feature so it's already enabled but uh, if you like doing it, gonna do this for a first time this will definitely be disabled here so here you have to just enable it and you will get this option right here which is XTU interface so this will be disabled at first and you have to enable it and after this you have to just save and exit so that's it you don't have to do much things right here so I'm going to exit now we're gonna move into the internal screen recording so we are back into the screen recording now you have to open throttle stop which is we're gonna use for the undervolting I don't use uh, Intel XTU like I don't like the interface and this uh, software I'm familiar with this software and it's good for me so you don't have to do much stuff right here so first you have to click this right here in the clock mode on my mouse cursor take this to 100% and set multiplier like these do not matter that much when you like uh, go above like 335t uh, here you already go to like turbo but i've set it to 48t and i can go up to 5 uh, 5t which is 5 gigahertz because uh, the intel 10th gen cpu can uh, give you like 5 gigahertz maximum clock speed for a single core but in laptop it's not possible for them we can only get maximum of around 4.2 to 3 gigahertz speed not more than that so this is all done right here you can set here like 4.5 or maximum to uh, 5 gigahertz 50t so that really not matter that much so also tick here speed step cie and uh, bd pro shot so these will help you to like manage your voltaging and all stuff like i don't know the in depth of these because i'm not that kind of expert so but i have found like what I found I'm gonna tell you that so now the main thing which is right here you have to click on FI VR which is right here and here is the main panel where you can do undervolt your CPU 
So you have to only select this CPU core and second thing is CPU cache. So these two things which you have to undervolt. So first of all, click on CPU core as it's right on stock. It's on CPU core. So at first you're going to see like this. The interface will be like faded. You cannot access to anything else. So you have to click here, unlock adjustable voltages and uh, you are good to go. So as you can see, the value that I've set right here minus 105.5 millivolt. It's 0.5 is just uh, as stock as itself. So we can just go like one by one. Okay, if you want to do for like other CPUs, you can uh, start from like minus 60 uh, because minus 60 will be a perfect value because I've tried my on my previous laptop, which is a U series processor that means ultra low power so that can also handle like minus 60, 60 at starting and after that just go like minus 5 millivolt or minus 10 okay so this so this is how you have to do this undervolting and for me like i can go up to like minus 125 that works also fine with, with this but uh, i was like getting a little dip in clock speed so i was getting around 4 gigahertz or 4.1 maximum and with this like minus 105.5 I'm getting around 4.3 gigahertz which is I think perfect speed for a laptop not like perfect according to price what I've got it's perfect and in the CPU cache you also have to select this unlock adjustable voltages and minus 105 you have to set the same voltage which you have to set uh, which you already set on the CPU core so this is it so this is just the two things which you have to do in this and here you can see on the left side which is the per core clock speed and seriously guys do not mess with this until you don't know about this like completely otherwise you're gonna get crash your system in starting so that's gonna cause a really problem to you so just do these things and uh, you are good to go so this is just the undervolting stuff that i found and uh, this works well for me and like previously if you can see uh, the previous videos when i got the laptop the first time my temperatures like insanely uh, going up above 95 and that was really bad but right now i am able to manage those temperatures like below 80 degree and that's pretty crazy for me and i can handle like for 75 to 80 degree temps are pretty fine for me Com i'm comfortable with those temps so after that what you have to do is uh, okay and save voltages immediately for that set here and hit apply and you're good to go okay and this is just undervolting is done you don't have to do anything else but definitely guys to maintain good temperatures i will definitely suggest you if you are using the same laptop please buy a cooling pad like any cooling pad out there that will definitely help you out so this is it uh, and whenever you want to play a game please open throttle stop and minimize it it will go for the system try and you'll be able to play games with this undervolting settings so this is how you can do also undervolt your system and uh, really it's a warning guys do not mess a lot with voltages number because that can cause a serious problem to you and if you follow these steps and uh, do as i've told you you're good to go so this is it for this video guys if you find this helpful please give it a thumbs up and definitely guys please make sure you subscribe to the channel this will help me a lot and i really need your support guys so bye bye for now and uh, take care and i catch you in the next one